Hey guys, Nana Gamer here today, and today we are doing sort of a uh, mod spotlight. I'm gonna call it a mod. It's an arcade mode for StarCraft, but uh, I think it's really cool. Um, the only problem with it though is a lot of people, or at least I didn't know how to use it, except for my friend told me. And um, I'm just gonna be going over some of the commands, because what it is is like you spawn in guys, you can adjust their abilities, and, or not abilities. Like damage, well, I guess you can, but damage, size, all that jazz. <clears throat> and uh, sort of make your own story with it or whatever you want to do. I don't freaking know, I just mess around with it when I'm bored. But uh, I really like it, it's pretty cool. So, today I'll be showing you all the commands. So, first of all, if you type in commands, it comes up with all of them. But, uh, so I won't be going over all of them, I'll just be going over like some of the main stuff. But yeah, so first what you want to do is you can see everything start, you can't see squat. Uh, if you want to leave it like that, do whatever, I don't care. But if you type exclamation point C, right, C all, it uh, lights it up. Um, you have to be the admin to do this though, uh, that's what the exclamation point is. <clears throat> but uh, that may help you unless you're like playing with people or you're trying to do something. But, uh, so, this one is, I can't completely remember what it's called, um, insert text here, okay, text should be shown, um, should be, if it's not, then uh, it'll be in the description, it, it'll probably be shown, okay, I'm gonna do my best. So, next, what you can do is you can go to this little help F12 button, um, and see all the things you can spawn. Though, this is not all of them, and I'll get to that in a sec. But, two, okay, so there's a bunch of crap, you get the idea. Uh, so what you can do, is you try, um, so this is how you spawn some things. You type in add, spawn, um, spawn some zerglings. Uh, zerg, oing, uh, that would spawn one. If you want to spawn many, though, you type spawn zergling. Um, I'm gonna say 20. You can only go to I think it's like 25 at a time or something like that. But I'll get to that later. So do that. You got zerglings. Over here, if you want, you can type at copy, and uh, it'll spawn more of whatever you have selected. It'll double it. Uh, but that should be sort of self-explanatory. But whatever. Um, next, what you can do is, okay, so I'm going to take these. I, or, okay, no, I'm not going to take those. I'm going to make over here, though. <clears throat> at spawn. Um, let's make it uh, zealots. I think that's how you spell it. Uh, let's make it 20, because the other one has 40. Um, and zealot, I'm pretty sure they're uh, more powerful. Zealots, 20. And then if you want them to be attackable by your guys and you want them to be bad and automatically attack you, like an AI, um, you type spawn them, but what you do is type at spawn zealot 20, and then at, not oh crap, at hostile. Then that should spawn them. Um, just to demonstrate, screw it, I'll spawn them. See, now they're... Okay, wait. <clears throat> I typed zealot last time, came up with these, now I came up with the right one. I don't know, maybe I typed something different by mistake. Uh, let's copy these again just so they have a fighting chance. Um, then uh, you can uh, attack them. So, they just got freaking obliterated, but you get them. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah, so that happened. But, I'm just gonna leave those there. Another, okay, so, say I did want to beat these with, uh, let's, let's say one Zergling. At spawn, Zergling. One guy, just to make him look cooler, or tougher. Scale, you can type at scale, number, and I'll make him bigger. So let's do, uh, three, so it should triple the size, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> Something like that. <coughs> If you wanted to go back down, what you can do at scale one, and it'll go back to its original size. But yeah. So now we have a giant. 
Alright, so, <clears throat> this is how you adjust your guys. I was talking about how you can uh, adjust damage and all that jazz. And, um, so this is how you do it. You type for, um, health, you type add, or er, sorry, that's for damage. Max life. Uh, the max is like 999999. 999,999. But, so let's, let's make it semi-reasonable. Let's make it freaking, um, it's 35 now. Let's make it, since there's so many of them, let's make it 10,000. Let's see what, see now, um, the value has increased down here, and he now has 10,000 health. Um, and then to add damage, you type add damage, or frick, damage, all one word, <clears throat> and then you type a value of some sort. Let's make it so he freaking insta-kills these guys. Uh, I can't remember how much health the zealot has. Frick. Frick. Def. 150 including the shield. So, um, add damage. With 150. It's just so we can insta-kill them, I don't know. And, um, so how you add shields, <clears throat> which is like what the Protoss have and all that stuff, what you do is you type at max shields, then a uh, number, I'm just gonna say 100. See, now he has shields, as you can tell. Um, so now we've got a pretty buff Zergling. I, I, I only made the shields decently small. Um, then another thing you can do is add weapon dam or uh, weapon speed or attack speed. That's the command. You type like weapon speed. Let's make it like freaking point one. It'll make it faster. Um, it doesn't say it. If it did say it, you typed it wrong. But uh, point one should be pretty fast. Alright, so now is how to adjust speed. What you do is you type add speed, like speed as the gap. Um, Higher values or faster, lower values for slower. So let's make it 10. Speed Gonzalez. Fastest, fastest circling in all of freaking universe. I don't know. Um, and then, so that's the majority of stuff I use for this guy. Um, the copy thing I said earlier, you can copy them and it should. Everything, it doesn't copy the scale for some reason, I don't know why, or at least it didn't use to, um, but it will copy all the values that you've added, uh, so then I can copy them and take these down, I can probably take it down right now anyway, so, yeah, also, okay, let's, let's kill these guys, see if those work, ah, frick, it's stunning, think about that, crap, well, okay, well, he's screwed, by the stay stuck in some these freaking guys. You can see, like, you can take down, like, five people within, like, one second. I still have that five. Uh, alright, so I was mentioning... Okay, no, I was not mentioning. Never mind. So, another thing you can do... Alright, so you may want different types of, like, Zerglings, or, uh, I'm just using Zerglings as an example, because... Freaking reasons. I don't know. But under if you want specific types, like we just spawn regulars, there's also like the uh, like j um, jump over wall ones, all that jazz, uh, and the different variants. So what you can do is you can go to this research or search catalogs, ta uh, go to the filter thing, type in uh, Zergling or whatever thing you want to find, filter, and then it'll come up with a bunch of different um, variants. So, ooh, I didn't know you could do that. All right, so at spawn, I didn't know you could do the carbot ones. Let's let's try that. Zergling carbot. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, that's I didn't know you could do that in this one. So you can spawn different variants to see. Apparently, it doesn't change this little thing down here if it's like a custom one. Uh, or you can spawn like uh, I'm just looking at random ones to spawn to be honest. Let's spawn a, um, whatever the frick a War 3 Zergling is. At spawn War 3 Zergling. Oh, that's actually really freaking awesome. Oh, is it is it Brood War? Pro probably is. Oh, freaking out. But, alright. 
this doesn't work on hostiles and because you can't select them once you deselect them. But um, so what you can do is you can select everyone. Say you don't want them, you can type add kill, and they will go away. But um, that's if you want to like clear your board or whatever and start fresh. But uh, yeah. Also, instead of typing commands, what you can do is you can go to uh, the commands guide, uh, or, like, typing commands in the thing, and it pops up all the things you can do. You can also go to this and, uh, look at all the jazz. So, like, max energy, max life, shields, energy, life, kills, speed, max shields, all, um, all that stuff. But, when I was looking through this, I found something that I thought was interesting. So let's let's spawn um spawn Fret Marine. That's, I guess that's easier to type. You gonna so, give me orders? Uh, I think it's um sorry, I've never really used this. So you can look through this and um trying to find the one I want. Well, okay, yeah, let's do this. Model swap. It'll tell you this uh, at model swap, model name, how to type it. And then the description changes the model and all that jazz. So at model swap, I guess it's all one word. Um, let's make it a freaking um, let's make it something melee. That'd be kind of interesting. Make it a uh, let's make it a freaking baneling. That I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. And now he looks like a baneling, but he's a Terran. That that would be it's kind of weird. So let's spawn at spawn. Hostile, or sorry, Zergling to at Hostile. And now it shoots, and it's a, supposedly a Terran, but what's a different thing? You can also add range and all that jazz. Um, I just went over the basics in this. Obviously, there's a million other things you can do. I just thought it was really cool and to showcase it. So, I'm going to now make a freaking, like, grand finale thing. I'm going to make two giant armies and have them battle. So, see you there. Okay, so first we have 382 Zerglings. So, that's, that's the thing. Next is whatever else I'm making. I'll figure that out. Okay, so we are back with the frame rate drop um, of the, the two armies. So, I made this and then this. So, we're going to duke it out and see what the frick happens. Try to make my game line. That's uh I think I think the protest will win. I think I gave them two minutes. Or will they? At copy. Dun dun. At copy. Also if you copy them with low life, um they will spawn with low life. So yeah. Yeah, the protoss freaking destroyed them. Not not surprised, but yeah. So let's make something that can destroy these protoss. All right, so I made something that can kill them supposedly. Let's try this. I hope it wins. The main reason I made this was, uh, yeah, was, I overgave the health, like, a lot, I just, I just, shut up. Um, that's kidding, there we go, but there's a lot of really cool things you can spawn, and there's a lot of, uh, mm -hmm. tree cut on fire. There's some secret stuff you can spawn, too, like I showed with the, um, well, okay, I'll show that now, never mind. <laughs> Huh. Alright. So, there are some secret things you can spawn. Uh, secret in quotes. By that I mean they are not on the help menu. They are just implied, I guess. This only, only works with some of... There's different variants of this mod. It only works with some. That's part of the reason I like this map. Because this variant has this. But what you can do, you can spawn at spawn... Oh, frick. You can spawn characters from Warcraft 3. So let's spawn, uh, that'd be someone that's cool, or something that's cool. Let's spawn ghouls, oh wait, no, 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 you can do that in this, anyway. Let's spawn 
night night um, 20. So you can spawn the guys from um, Warcraft 3. And some of them have been updated, as you can see if you look at custom units and uh, custom structures and heroes. But uh, you can also spawn all the stuff from the game, like I was saying. Or like, what I did was I found a website or a wiki for um, Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne and uh, all that jazz. So it tells me all the people I can spawn. And I've typed, I think I've found maybe like one that you can't do. I can't remember what it was, but I'm, it seems like there was. So add spawn, lich, five. And also spawn these guys. Um, add spawn, beetle guy, no, I can't remember his name. Frick. At spawn, uh, lich king. Well, that comes up with this. That's not what I meant, but that's that's pretty cool too. So yeah, but um, that's this mod. I just want to show you that because it's really cool, and I think uh, it might help some people. Uh, I mean, you could probably just look at the commands guide, but um, it might seem like gibberish. I don't know, but just doing a mod spotlight because I thought it was really cool, and I think you guys should check it out. So thank you for watching. Please comment, and subscribe, like this video if you liked it and tell me more of what I should do. Uh, if you want me to spotlight some more mods I have, not just of StarCraft, of pretty much anything, uh, I will do that, because I find it pretty cool. Thank you for watching, and bye.